Okay, so once again, let's see if we can kind of dissect on how this might be working. Some of it we started to touch on, but let's do it. Let's uh, let's go over this. So the graphics window, of course, is just setting up the window that the game is going to play in. You give it a you give it a background color. Um, in this case, you're using the uh, add rectangle function uh, within the shapes, and um, here is the width and height of the rectangle. Of course, we're going to assign that, and we've given our variable a descriptive name, because on the right is what you're assigning to, in this case, a variable on the left. We've called that variable paddle, which that's very descriptive, because that's exactly how we're going to use that rectangle. Same concept here, only in this case, we're using add ellipse, 16 uh, for both of the uh, what would you call that? Width and height, I believe. Yeah, width and height. And uh, we're going to make an, a, a, an ellipse using that function with the same width and height, in this case 16 each. Assign it to a variable called ball. There's our ball for the game. Um, now this one here is gets involved with the mouse move uh, functionality. Um, and you'll see how that works as we get down a little further. Now, of course, uh, uh, when the game starts out, uh, we have an X and a Y. Uh, we call these variables. Again, we're assigning zero to both. So that means uh, when we kick off this game, the X and Y coordinates are going to be in the upper left because that's how it works. X starts here at zero in the upper left and goes uh, to the right. And Y starts in the upper left and it goes down as it increases. Now, also, this delta x uh, is, again, a descriptive variable. We could have called that anything, but that's the change. Uh, it's going to change by 1. In fact, if we hit this run and didn't do anything, you'll see that the ball starts to go down diagonally because what's happening is uh, this it's, uh, starts at x, 0, 0 up here, and then it's doing a change of uh, 1. So x is, changes one unit, and y changes one unit, and x changes one unit, and y changes one unit as this, uh, as this loop. This is actually our game loop, and a lot of games have something called a game loop, and so does this one. Here's our run loop, and uh, later on I might add some comments to this. We'll see how that works. Um, our, our run loop is x, which just starts out at 0, plus the delta x, which of course is the 1, and it signs it here. Okay, so each time it runs, that's what's going on. It's doing the same thing with the Y. Let's get into it a little further. Now, graphics window width, and we're assigning that to a, a variable GW. It's, it's still descriptive. These are functions over here. Height, uh, and that's the height. Graphics window. Let's see if I double click on that. Yeah. Provides graphics related input and output, for example, using this it is possible to draw and fill surface in rectangles. Yeah, okay. And, um, okay, that gets, gets or sets. So this can go get it, the height of the window. All right, if x is greater than uh, the graphics width minus 16, well, let's see, what do we say was 16? Well, that's the a ball diameter. Or x is less than 0, then delta x, which is the change in x, and they're, now they're making it uh, the opposite. So what would happen there? Well, if it's greater than the graphics width, that means the ball is over here, and now suddenly um, the ball touches over here, and, uh, and this delta, by assigning negative delta x, the, the x change goes back the other way. Cool, huh? This is doing something similar with the, only in the Y. I'm going kind of quickly because I'm limited on time, but I'm just showing you the concepts here. Shapes get left paddle. Oh, you can imagine what that's doing. Um, we've got something called a paddle that we assigned up here. Where was I? I got lost there. Uh, shapes get left paddle. So get left. What does that do? Left corner of the shape, in that case the paddle. Okay. And then um, if y is gh minus 28 
Well, this here is where they, they detect a collision. I, I looked at that myself because the 28 is equal to uh, 16 plus 12. Okay, 16 plus 12, so that's the Y. Um, let's see if I've got that right. If Y is equal to graphics height minus 28, Okay, and x is greater than or equal to pad x, and x is less than or equal to pad x plus 120, then delta y minus delta y. That's, in other words, if you have a, coll a collision. Okay, and this is uh, shapes move ball x and y. Okay, and again, where is it, it going to get the x and y? Well, from up here. That's why, even if you don't do anything with the paddle, um, that ball is moving this way, right? So there's the move function. The delays, you'll be able to see that if you change that. That just That's really the speed of the ball. That's the way that I interpret that. If y is less than gh, uh, which is the graphics display height, then go to run loop. Okay, so if y is less is less than. Yeah, because if it goes over, that means you missed. There was no collision. You missed, and it says you lose paddle. Or excuse me, it says, uh, let's say show message. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the title of the game, huh? You lose. Title for the message box. Oh, I see. That's the title of the message box, and you get this is the message. You lose. Yeah, because this is, uh, if it's not less, if Y is not less than the height, then that means the ball went all the way down to the bottom, that you missed it with the paddle. So therefore, you get to lose. Okay, and this is a subroutine. It's called on mouse. It's called up here. So um, when it's called, it comes down here, and it runs this. And it says, uh, wow, graphics window, mouse X is now paddle X. Yeah, that's this. Because that's how you control the paddle is via uh, mouse moves. And then shapes move, uh, paddle, which, what would paddle be again? Paddle is here. It's defined there. And um, here's the paddle X. That has to do with your mouse. Minus 60. Well, that's half of the uh, width of the paddle, which is 120. Okay. So that's what's happening there. And that makes that makes some sense, doesn't it? Because if you move the paddle this way, um, they're taking the they're taking the x from the mouse and subtracting it by sixty. Does that make sense? Well, that's how it's working. So In graphics window dot height. Oh, for the move, minus 12. Okay, so that's, oh, okay, that's giving your y, uh, your y. And, of course, that's keeping that paddle all the way down on the bottom. That's the height of minus 12. All right, so um, there's your paddle, and that keeps it above, huh? And what you can do is kind of play with some of these, change some of these parameters once you have an idea of, of what they are, what they're doing, and you can kind of play with it, and then you can learn that way. So this is a different approach to learning. It's just kind of dissecting this code. We didn't have to do it from scratch because that would have been difficult, uh, a lot harder. Well, this kind of jump starts it. This gives you an example of a working program, and then you can go in and make some changes. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, I hope that's helpful.